welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on some products that I picked up from the NYX Bear With Me line. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through the serum, the luminous tinted skin serum, the veil, the setting spray, the cheek bronzer, and then the brush. So I'm gonna kind of give you my review, my thoughts on them, who I would recommend, and then also kind of showing you a before and after. So I'm gonna do an application. I'm gonna come back at the very end of the video and let you guys see how the foundation or the, I'm doing the BB cream, how the BB cream wore so that you, can, you guys could see it, and then also wrap up my final thoughts. So. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna review is the Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. So I don't know why all these makeup brands, they try to put so much in the title, but I don't want to, this is not the one that I'm gonna be wearing today, but I wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like, give you my thoughts, and just do a little swatch on my cheeks so that you can see what the the finishes and all that stuff, but this is not what I'm going to be wearing because to be honest, it doesn't give me enough coverage. But basically with this one, it is a skin serum. It retails for $17 at Ulta. It comes in five different color options. It's supposed to help with a variety of different ranges. It has it here on the box. This one has, it says, sheer coverage works across all of these skin tones. So basically I got the color Universal Light. So it's supposed to work on a variety of different skin colors, but it doesn't have any tones. So it doesn't have, you know, neutral tones or warm tones or anything. So it's a little weird. When I first opened it, I thought I was supposed to open it like this. And I was like, what the heck is going on? And it does say somewhere, I think on the box. Yeah, it even has the instructions because apparently they were like, maybe we should put it. Now, if you're like me, I didn't read the box and I ended up having to figure it out, but it's easy. You just twist off this top here and then you actually squeeze this little mechanism here and it comes out. A little weird. It's not one of those things like I didn't like it. It wasn't, I found like it was a little awkward, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. What they recommend is that you use it with the skin serum brush and so it looks like this as you can see i have used it multiple times it has two little holes here these are supposed to be some silicone reservoirs that you're supposed to put the serum in and it just says that it helps precise blending so that you can get to hard to reach areas and it provides streak free application so basically, I just wanna show you guys this. So what I've been doing is just plopping it in here. I'm just gonna do it a little bit. And then it's supposed to, the way this brush works is it is supposed to help with like not wasting product. And do a lot, so I'll do a little bit more so you guys can see. So basically what this product says is it is formulated with Tremera mushroom. I don't even know. It's supposed to give you instant all day luminous skin. It's supposed to even out your skin tone and texture and provide a dewy finish. So you can see right there, I just wanna do this side. It's not horrible. You can see, don't look at my bruise. It's been over a week and a half and for whatever reason, it's just not going away. I don't know. But you can see there, it does, it just doesn't provide a lot of coverage. And so to me, it's just one of those things, like I have a lot of tinted moisturizers and skin tints. It just wasn't my favorite because it would just didn't have a lot of coverage to it. But you can see it does provide a little bit of coverage. It does provide hydration. To be completely honest with you, it's not a product that I personally like. To me, I think this would be great for young girls. Like I could see my daughter wearing this because it doesn't provide a lot of coverage. It's not like she's fully masking her face or wearing makeup to cover anything because she doesn't need to, but I think it does a good job of covering up like redness and providing hydration and just providing kind of that evening out complexion. But for me, with my mature skin, I think the hydration is there, but it's just not enough coverage for me. As for the brush, I, I do feel like I did apply it with this and I did use it with my It Cosmetics Airbrush Foundation Brush. I can say that the serum does go on better with this brush. I don't know what it is. It is super, super soft, but it's also dense. I did try it without putting in the brush first and just put it all over my face. It applied the same way, but I do feel like it really does do a good job of providing that streak-free coverage and you can get into all these different areas and it doesn't, like here, I feel like, as I'm shining my hand, whatever, I'm, this is the truth, this is real life. 
But here, I mean, they're both very, very soft. But here, it because of the dome thing, I feel like this contours to my eyes a little bit and I was able to kind of get into those hard reach places. So as far as what they promote for this brush, hands down, I do think that everything that they advertise it for, it works and it does well. It does retail for $13, which isn't horrible. A little bit high, I think, for a drugstore, but not, not horrible. I will tell you that I did use this brush with the Tinted Skin Veil. I personally like the It Cosmetics brush a little bit more. It did apply just fine, but I think the brush worked better with the serum than it did with the, the uh, Tinted Veil. So that's that. But it's a decent brush. It just wasn't, to me personally, as good as the It Cosmetics, but it's still for the price and for what it does, I think it's a really good deal. So when I looked on Ulta, this had 213 reviews and four stars. Just wanted to give you that. The brush only had three reviews, but it did have all five stars, not much there, but I did think it was decent. So as far as the skin veil, the tinted skin veil, so this had 1300 reviews when I looked at it on Ulta, four and a half stars. So this baby is had high reviews. It didn't have that many reviews when I first got it, but it is what it is. I had to jump off and research it because I was like, wait a minute, my notes say BB cream, but this says Skin Veil. So on the Ulta's website, it says that it's a tinted Skin Veil BB cream. I do not see BB cream anywhere on the product, but I did verify that that is what this is. So it's a little confusing, but I would definitely call this a BB cream and not a Skin Veil. To me, I guess Veil is a little bit misleading. I don't know. I think it's just another play on words, but to me, this is a true BB cream. So it did get really good reviews. And I do have to say, I really enjoyed it. I started wearing it and I did not think I was going to like it. I was like, meh, eh, eh. And I've worn it for the past week. I actually enjoyed wearing this. It is definitely one that I'm going to keep in my collection because I did really like the way that it worked on my skin. It comes in 13 different color options. I got mine in pale light because I am pale. It has a satiny finish. It is supposed to, what it claims is give you that no makeup makeup look. So it's not supposed to be cakey. It's supposed to, you know, basically feel and look like second skin. It has a hydrating creamy, for, creamy formula. It's supposed to provide eight hours of hydration. And again, it should never feel heavy or cakey. And honestly and truly, I feel like that is what this product did. Like I mentioned before, I did feel like it worked best with my It Cosmetics airbrush foundation brush. So what I'm gonna do is kind of take you through and show you, I always start out, I'm gonna do a little color correcting on my bruise because it has been, I don't know. I do, go in with this stuff the same way I go with and with everything else or I do my skincare. I've used the same product so nothing has changed throughout the whole week. Well, actually, even before that, I used the same products. But so I can tell you what, you know, that it's the product and not, you know, a new skincare product that I might be using. Just kind of wanted to take you through. So that is layer number one. So I always go in and I just hit on the areas that I need a little bit more coverage because I would much rather build it up with foundation than concealer because concealer just gets cakey very easily. And then what I do, and I do this with every foundation, is I go in and I just push it in with a Real Tex Techniques blender. And voila, there it is. So like I said, I mean, it doesn't provide a ton of coverage. You can definitely build it up. I don't feel that it looks cakey by any means. I think it looks very, very fresh. It looks like my skin. It feels very nice on, on my skin and especially with my dry skin. I know we're kind of going into summer. Things are heating up here in Texas and the humidity is starting to come back just a little bit, but my skin is still very, very dry. It hasn't hit that normal peak yet. So I really appreciate a product that provides that hydration that doesn't, that just really works well for my skin. So if you're somebody who, who has dry skin and even even on the very dry skin like me, I think this is definitely a product that you will like. I can see myself wearing this throughout the summertime. I just think it provides a natural kind of finish. It has that hydration and it does pick up well on camera. So I do a lot of WebEx Zoom calls. So I am on camera all day long and I still feel like this picks up really well on camera. 
it's not my favorite. Like there are other ones that do really look good on camera. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it definitely gets the job done. I don't feel like I look at it and go, ooh, you know, I mean, it definitely feel, looks very natural, but even in person, I feel like it looks really, really nice in person. So it's nice to find a product that translates well in real life and then on camera. So the next one is this Bear With Me Luminous Cheek Serum. I got mine in Peach Brawn. They only have three color options. It retails for $10 at Ulta. There were 215 reviews when I looked it up and it got four stars. But basically it's supposed to give you a luminous, dewy, bronze cheek look. And it's supposed to be kind of like a natural looking flush of color. It's not supposed to fade or transfer throughout the day. And it's supposed to make your cheeks appear brighter and more voluptuous and moisturized with a smooth, even finish. So I've been wearing this for a week, and I'll be honest with you, this is one of those products that I'm kind of like, mm, mm. but this is one of the products that I wasn't excited to wear every single day, mostly because it is very, very natural looking. So it does look kind of like that flush, very natural flush look, which not isn't necessarily what I'm going for. So I kind of want to show you guys what I've been doing. So. I like to go in, I have been using this kind of as a blush because like to me, it's too peachy to go in with a, and that's why I got the peach bronze because the other ones, I, I it just wasn't dark enough for me. So I've been going in, this is the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. I don't know, it's just a little, what I use for my, my blush. But I just go in and I just put it kind of on the high apples of my cheeks and just kind of blend it in. And that's pretty much what I do. And it just looks natural. It looks very, very flush, but it just is kind of hard to build up. It's just not va va -voom enough for me. Like when I do blush and everything, I just want it a little bit more, I don't want to say not natural looking, but just a little bit more pigmented. This one to me is not very pigmented, but if you are somebody who really truly does like blush, you're not gonna like this. But if you're somebody who is a very minimalistic and looking for just kind of that minimal, makeup look, then I think this is really pretty. It's just incredibly natural. And I guess that's what the benefit is. The only negative thing that I would say about this product is it does fade throughout the day. Like at the end of the day, I don't feel like I see it at all. It just kind of fades down. It fades very natu naturally. It doesn't fade splotchy or anything like that. It's just very consistent. So it's a product that I think you have to touch up throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. Then I'm going to come back and talk about the setting sprays. So stay tuned. So makeup is done. What I normally do is I go in with the setting spray. Now this says it's prime, set, and refresh. What I've been doing is I have been setting my makeup with this and then also refreshing. So this is the Aloe and Cucumber Extract Primer and Setting Spray. Now it doesn't say, what's interesting, it says multitasking spray, but on Ulta's website, it calls it the aloe and cucumber extract, but I don't see that anywhere on the bottle. I mean, it says cucumus stavius fruit, cucumber fruit extract. I mean, it has it in the ingredients, but doesn't have it anywhere here. They also do have a cannabis one, or I, I think it's called a cannabis one, but I will link that down below. I have not tried that one, but I did do this one. And the reason why I tried this one over the other one is it says that it's supposed to give you a dewy glow. It's supposed to hydrate for up to eight hours. It had all the buzzwords that I look for when I'm looking for a skincare product or a setting spray, if you will, because my skin is so dry. So it, it, it says that it for, is formulated for sensitive skin. It retails for $10, which I think is a really good deal considering that that's a lot of product. So I think the price point is, is awesome. It's supposed to minimize the appearance of pores provide up to eight hours of hydration. It's supposed to prime your complexion and then also set or refresh. So like I said, I use it as a setting spray. Now, one thing I have to tell you, I am a big stickler for the spray mechanism. This one is pretty good. It is a very, very fine mist. It so far hasn't gotten any clogged, you know, clogged and like where it spits at you and you got like a big chunk. But what I've been doing is before I apply any mascara, I just go in with this. And I spray an ungodly amount because my skin needs it. But I mean, I sprayed a lot. Now granted, it was very, very finely missed. So it goes on very, very evenly. So I haven't had any issues with it, like messing up with this foundation or like it's streaking or anything like that. It seems to finely miss, even go on evenly. 
and then it dries pretty quickly. So I really, really like it. I just feel like it has, it not only sets the makeup, so I feel like it does provide a little bit of longevity. On the days that I haven't worn it because I've forgotten, I do feel like my skin doesn't look as hydrated. This is definitely one of those products that for $10, I am going to pick up two of them, one to keep in my office, one to keep at home because I just really feel like it does a really good job of hydrating and making my skin look really, really refreshed. Now I have used this with another uh, foundation, the It Cosmetics Tinted Moisturizer, and it worked just fine. So I don't think it is one of those products that you have to obviously use with the BB cream. This is definitely a product that I foresee myself using in the future with every single thing I put on my face because it is that good. And it got 337 reviews as of the time that I went on to Ulta and it got four and a half out of five stars. So definitely one of those products that I think a lot of people recognize is a really good product for $10. You can't beat it. Okay, so I'm coming back at you at the end of the day. It's been 11, 12 hours since I've done my makeup and you can see to me, it looks pretty much the same. There is a little bit of breaking up here where I'm just naturally dry and here and then on my chin, but everything else looks really, really nice. I mean, it looks like my skin, it's not flawless. It's not like a full coverage or anything like that, but I feel like it looks very, still very natural. It looks like my skin, but better. And I can feel a little bit on my face, like it doesn't, it doesn't feel tacky or anything like that. But one thing that I do like about this BB cream is I feel it on my face. Like I feel like it's not sucking all my moisture out. I feel like it's adding a little bit of hydration and I feel like it picks up well on camera. It looks really natural in person and it's just, just an overall good CC cream. So no complaints here, definitely enjoy it, but wanted to come back to you at the end of the day and show you guys what it looked like at the end of the day so you can see. So that is it. The, that was the review of the Bear With Me. Now they do have some other stuff that they came out with. They have like a lip oil, they have a brow gel thing. Some of them are intriguing, but I definitely will be t picking up the cheek jelly thing because the cheek bronzer for me just wasn't my favorite but I am all into like the cream blushes and ever and stuff like that. So I will definitely be picking that up, but I really, really enjoyed this line. Hopefully this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them down below until next time. Bye.